Are you struggling to get your videos to loop in ExoPlayer? You're not alone. Many developers face this issue, and today we're going to solve it together. I totally get how frustrating it can be when you expect a feature to work, and it just doesn't. You follow the instructions, but the video plays only once. It's a common hiccup in app development. Here's the situation. One user reached out saying, I implemented the looping feature in ExoPlayer, but my video only plays once. They followed the developer's guide, but something isn't working. Sound familiar? Let's dive into the details. So, what could be going wrong? The ExoPlayer setup seems correct, but there might be a few overlooked details. Let's break it down and find out why the video isn't looping as expected. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that can help you avoid similar issues in the future. First, the user should ensure that they are preparing the looping media source correctly. Instead of preparing the original media source, they need to prepare the looping source. Next, the user should check if the video URI is valid. An invalid URI could prevent the video from looping as expected. Additionally, the user should verify that the ExoPlayer instance is set to loop. This can be done by setting the repeat mode to repeat 1. Finally, the user should ensure that the ExoPlayer is properly initialized and that there are no errors in the logs that might indicate issues with playback. Fun fact, did you know that the first video players were just simple command line tools? We've come a long way since then, but sometimes the simplest things trip us up. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach shared by another user suggests simplifying the ExoPlayer setup. They recommend using the default track selector without creating a bandwidth meter. For looping, instead of using looping media source with account, they advise using the set repeat mode method for indefinite looping. Additionally, they provide a code snippet for creating a looping media source with a specified loop count. This can be useful if you want to loop a video a specific number of times. Now, let's see a response from a different user. An alternative solution, shared by another user, involves modifying the player setup. They suggest preparing the media source, setting the player to play when ready, and seeking to the start of the video. Additionally, they recommend adding a listener to the player. This listener manages the playback state, ensuring the video restarts when buffering occurs or when the player is idle. That's all on that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative solution from another user suggests handling the playback ended event. They recommend adding a listener to the player that checks if the playback state is ended. If it is, the player should seek back to the start and play again. Here's a pro tip. Always double check your media source and ensure you're preparing the correct one. This small step can save you a lot of headaches. And there you have it. With these steps, your video should loop perfectly in ExoPlayer. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and remember to keep experimenting with your code.